A prototype is a first or early version of a product from which other forms are developed. The prototype becomes your test case and is the model on which to base the final design or finished product. In industry, prototyping is an important stage to develop and implement early ideas that are tested for feedback to advise developers on improvements to be made. Sometimes products or digital solutions can go through a number of prototype stages before finally being released. An example is the Google Glass project. Look at all the prototype versions before it was officially launched. Prototype is a part of an iterative design process. This means we proceed through a loop from design to testing and feedback to redesign and so on. In this process, we start by designing the solution. We then create a model of the design and begin constructing the prototype. This might involve exploring different representations of the same model, different features and looks, as well as different functions. We then test and gather feedback about the prototype. During this phase, we can iron out any bugs that we have. Based on the feedback and research, the product is then redesigned. Depending on the project and the stage at which someone is at, there are different ways that one might create a prototype. A prototype could be a physical raw product, a digital prototype, or a paper prototype. Let's look at some of these in more detail. A physical or raw prototype demonstrates and tests some functionalities of the design without necessarily worrying too much about the appearance. In this case, we want to test that the product does what we intend it to and that the input and output is functioning. Let's take another look at the early development of the Google Glass again. In this example, we see that it's basically attached to a pair of glasses with rather large components. Later on, they've began to develop and refine the appearance and worked on reducing the size of the hardware components. Another example is with electronics. Designers typically work on their circuits and make sure that they function and operate as intended before scaling up or producing the shell of the design. In this image, we can see that someone is testing the input and the output of the circuit. A paper prototype is a paper-based representation of a digital solution. This approach is common with app and game development and is a great way for the rapid testing of ideas with little time investment. In these cases, people design the user interface and the objects on paper or cardboard and in doing so, they can showcase how a user would proceed and navigate through the digital product. They do this by layering and interchanging the paper as one proceeds to interact with the product. They can showcase the outcome of different interactions with objects on the screen, show levels or pages. Alternatively, there are apps out there that let you create prototypes on the computer rather than with pen, paper and scissors. There are a few out there if you search prototyping tools. A digital prototype might include an early showing of a web page or the early release of a game. We sometimes refer to these as beta testing phases, where users are invited to test and use the product on the provision that they provide some kind of feedback to help developers improve the product for final release. It's common for game designers to test an idea by developing a single level or sample of a game before developing the whole solution. This is a great way to get early feedback on the concept. In a learning and teaching context, this is where peers, friends or family could use and test digital solutions to provide feedback for redesign. Okay, well that's it for our overview on prototyping. We hope that this has given you some ideas.